I'm Jay-Z. I'm Daniel. This is Just My DIY. And this is Makeblocks X-Tool D1, a 10 watt version of their diode laser. Makeblocks reached out to us a little while ago and asked us to try out the D1 and give you guys our thoughts and that's exactly what we're going to do in this video today. We got it in a box and we're going to take it all the way to making something. To this. This won't be a traditional unboxing video. Xtool has a fantastic assembly video, so we're going to tell you our experience with that, give you some tips and tricks along the way, and take you all the way to making your first project. So, let's join the cool kids. Getting the glasses on. Oh yeah. Now let's get to it. So we're going to start with our experience of putting it together. The Xtool D1 comes in a pretty compact box and it's not that heavy, which we particularly appreciated. We're going to gently cut it open, for it is tightly packed, and we're going to remove all of the styrofoam holdings of things. That's the technical term. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to lay them out on the table as we get the box out of the way. One more layer in there. As you see, everything is just perfectly packed, very secure, and so we took everything we knew we would need at first and laid that out, pulled up the video, and started putting it together. We'll link that video down below. Of course. Now, as we started identifying what was what, we paused the video several thousand times to be <laughs> able to make sure we were, I was doing this right. And they did provide everything that you needed, plus some. There were a few spare pieces. <laughs> Always a bonus. And the video was pretty easy to follow along to. There was a minor hang up, but that got fixed pretty quickly. What we noticed pretty immediately is how big this is. I mean, it has a pretty sizable footprint, which means it has a great bed size. Uh, specific dimensions we can put down in the description, but definitely a healthy area to work with. And don't forget your micro SD card. Go <laughs> to that tiny slot right there. We might have forgotten that. But now we go over to the computer stuff. So we are going to go to support.xtool.com and we're going to grab Laserbox. This is their software that you can use to control it. You can also use Lightburn. It's more powerful, but we stuck with Laserbox for this particular tutorial. Now, we did a lot of testing and instead of telling you about all of our testing, we're going to tell you a few things that we learned. First thing we learned, always update your firmware. Immediately. <laughs> So we're going to go to the upper left hand corner of the software under menu and you will find it says check for firmware. You're so going to want to make sure that your machine is connected. Make sure you're hardwired between your computer and the X tool. Click that connect button and then update now. <laughs> this takes about four minutes, at least it did for us. And one thing it doesn't tell you at the end that you should absolutely do is shut your machine down and then wait 10 seconds and power it back on that's right another thing you need to do definitely ventilate well you want to have some sort of fan or something sucking the smoke and stuff away as well as doors open as much as you can this isn't an enclosed machine so there's definitely lots of smoke and fumes and stuff like that now they did come with a set of safety glasses. We, there wasn't a safety data sheet on those and so we ordered an extra pair on Amazon which we will link down below. And of course there was two of us so we kind of needed two. That's true. We're going to show you looking at the project without glasses and then with glasses through the camera of course and you can see how much light is filtered out with proper safety glasses. And for our next tip, we're going to make sure and say, hey, use a honeycomb tray. <laughs> You'll notice that there is no bed on this machine. We started using a piece of just regular old plywood, but we realized fairly quickly that that was actually leaving extra burn marks on the backs of our materials. So we increased the height of our X tool to accommodate the honeycomb tray we actually already had using the included leg risers and once we get that up we're able to pull in our honeycomb tray. Xtool does make one which we will of course link below but this is just the one we already had on hand. Theirs actually fits this bed size a lot better. 
And once you have the, the tray in, we go to set the focus of the laser and found that it wasn't close enough. We had to raise it up a little bit with some wood, which we had on hand, and that did get it closer so we could set the focus using the knob as well as that little arm on the side. Now we're gonna show you this after doing some tests. You can see how clean the back of the wood is using a honeycomb tray versus over there on the left, which it has extra burn marks. So we actually like to use masking for cutting. Without this, you spend a lot of time sanding. Ask us how we know. <laughs> so we put a piece of masking down. Uh, we will share which one we like to use, but you do wanna make sure you burnish this down so there are no air pockets. And once you get that nice and secure, we did a couple of tests, an engraving and a cut off the masking and an engraving and a cut on the masking. Now the engraving without the masking turned out to t better, mm -hmm. but the cutting with the masking turned out with no smoke marks left over whatsoever. Right. So now that we've shared our tips, we're going to show an easy first project that we did with the X tool. So we're going to grab some SVGs that we have on file, starting with Grand Cayman. We can change the size of this, but the sizes are actually in millimeters, which means... Daniel has some math to do. <laughs> so much math. That was a little inconvenient, but hopefully we'll get used to that. We also have some stingrays because those are popular in Grand Cayman and we just copy and paste and duplicate those and then use the controls in the system to move things around and turn them the right directions. We insert text using Lightbox as well. We just wanted to test how well that worked and you can access all the fonts on your system and then resize that as well. So we do a little bit of tweaking, see how we like to have everything set up. Now we are gonna set Grand Cayman as well as the Stingrays to cut, whereas Grand Cayman is going to say, is going to be an engrave. So once we're happy with everything, I'm gonna look over here on the right side and see our speed and power sliders. We played with this a lot. We'll show you when we finally get to cutting and engraving what we actually landed on, but just know that you can use those sliders. Before we go any further, since we like the way this is, we do want to save the project so we kind of export it, and now we're gonna set up our wood. Our piece of wood is already masked and set, so we're gonna set the focus of the laser. On the right of the laser has a little bar you use to measure the height of it, and on the left is a screw you use to tighten and set it. So back in the software, we're going to remove the Grand Cayman because we only want to do the cut since it's masked. We click the start button up in the top corner. Now know that you can do cutting and engraving in the same session. We just don't want to because of the masking. So we click that frame button to check our frame. Everything looks good. And then we click start and our settings are two millimeters a second for this masked piece of wood and 100% power. This takes about seven minutes in total. The footage is sped up about 20 times. But goes around, cuts nicely, cuts all the way through. And then because we're gonna do our engraving next, we pull our stingray off to the side and pull the masking off of the piece. Now she's gonna go and square everything off to get the best measurements for getting the engraving of the words Grand Cayman in place correctly. And you will see, wow, the number of times we ended up having to frame this. So our settings that we're doing this, 50% power and 50 millimeters a second for the engraving. We click that start button. That little blue dot on the screen, you can move that. That's kind of where those crosshairs are on the laser. And we put it as close as we could to this because we're trying to get right in the center of that section of the island and I probably framed this six or seven times just to make sure and I kept tweaking until I was totally happy. And once I was, it's a nice clean start. Again, this is sped up about 20 times, but absolutely nailed the placement. Now our cuts and engravings are all done, so we're gonna finish the wood with some wood finish. Also known as a stain. <laughs> Do remember to stir, don't shake your stains, and peel off any masking, which we still had masking on the stingrays. And now we're just gonna use a shop towel and have how many coats? We're gonna go for two. The first coat is very light, 
So we wanted it a little bit darker. Just a little. So once we get those on, of course we're being nice and gentle with those thin tails. Look at how nice everything turned out. Like the X tool did a really good job cutting these. Then we're gonna prepare some canvas with some beautiful acrylic painting. <laughs> this is not our forte, but it was serviceable and we just kept checking it next to the island piece. And now we're gonna secure it with... Super glue. We love some super glue. So we're gonna apply it liberally, but not excessively in all the sensitive places. And we're gonna place it gently, not aggressively onto the canvas for the canvas doesn't have a backing to it. Get all our stingrays placed in a, in a way that stingrays like to be aligned. Sure, we'll go <laughs> with that. <laughs> and now we have our first piece made on the X tool. How pretty is that? It's pretty. So pretty. So bottom line with the X-Tool D110 watt, for its price, it's a very capable laser. It does take a little tinkering and testing to get it to do exactly what you want it to do. But with that, we are still excited about the possibilities of what it can do. Absolutely. And if you like this video, then you should click that thumbs up button. Feel free to subscribe and ring the bell. If you think we look totally cool in the ah. shade, say so in the comment line. <laughs> And of course, everything that we've used here today is going to be listed down in the description. Also in the description are links to all of our social handles. Please connect with us across platforms. We love hearing from you. And don't forget to check out our blog at JustMyDIY.com. Thanks for watching. Whoa, oh, that's it's bright. no longer the right color. <laughs>